long time no see. I have been busy trying to uh, pack and actually getting ready. If you notice behind me, this is not my usual setup because I am in a hotel. Um, me and my husband took a little vacation to New York City because we're going to BookCon. So I'm going to film that. But today it is still Wednesday. It's almost Thursday. <laughs> and I was going to show you some of the things that I brought along for my um, for my little trip to, <laughs> to BookCon. I couldn't resist. I had to bring things. Um, so I brought my current read, which is on the bed, and I'm way too tired and my feet hurt to get it back up again. But it is uh, my Kindle, and it has uh, three of my current reads on there. I'm currently reading The Story Peddler. I'm about to start The Oddling Prince, and I want to get to We Own the Sky by Sarah Crawford. I also brought some other reading material with me um, to get to, to try to get to this week. Um, I have Sleep Meryl Sleep. It is by Silke Stein? I don't know. Um, it seems like a dream fantasy inspired book. Then I have No Saint in Kansas by Amy Brashear. I think this is um, a murder mystery book. I'm not entirely sure. Then I have one of my most anticipated reads for this year. It is ruled by Ellie, El, El, Elaine, the, the, Elaine Goodlett. Um, it comes out September 2018. They're also giving out arcs of these apparently at BookCon, and I feel so special that I already have one. <laughs> then I have Will Fly Away by Brian Bl Bliss. Bliss? Yeah. Um, this is a contemporary about uh, two teens um, in their grown up years. Um, one is in a prison and the other one's coming to see him, so it should be good. I also brought A Vast and Gracious Tie by Lisa Carter. Um, this is also a murder mystery. I have a review to do for this book soon for um, Just Reads Tour. And I brought a copy of Everless by Sarah Holland because my little read-along group that I host, we are starting that in June. Um, I'm obviously going to be behind, but you know, whatever, I live in a state of behindness. And then I brought some things that I'm going to obviously take with me uh, to BookCon to hand out or just to wear. Um, I obviously have my BookCon t-shirt. I'm super excited to wear it. And I have a lanyard, and this is what my past looks like. It's kind of cool. It's uh, Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare, which comes out in December. Um, I'm not a big Shadowhunters fan, so I'm not anticipating this book, but I mean, it's cool. <laughs> and then a couple of shops have asked me to show some stuff off for them and or to pass out some stuff. So, to show off, I have these two bookmarks from Barely Lit Shop. Um, one is, I have that upside down. <laughs> one is a bookmark from The Savage Song. It says, not with a bang, but with a whisper. Try to focus on that. I have the camera in my shoe perched on a office chair, so I don't know if you can see that or not, my bad. Um, and then this is to, uh, this is, you know, Alice at Akatar, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. You even drew the little mountain at the bottom. So I'm going to show that off while I'm there, and I'm also going to show off. Uh, one or both of these book sleeves while I'm there. They are from Book of Bob. Absolutely love her book sleeves. Um, she is such a sweetie. Uh, this is her galaxy print, which is my very favorite. I love it, and it does sparkle. And then this one is a newer one. It is a, a pirate-inspired navigator one. Love it as well. And then the pass out for book con. I am super excited. <laughs> I have some business cards from a new candle shop. It is called Fire Nation Creation and on the back is a uh, coupon code. So if you went to BookCon and you saw me, uh, you probably got one of these. I'm going to try to pass them out. There's like 250 of them and try to pass them all out. Um, my friend Alex, he runs the shop. He's super nice. And the shop also does something really unique. They make teacup candles. Um, and you choose like the style of teacup that you want. To, um, and they send it to you with the candle and stuff poured in it. Looks super nice, super classy. 
So if you have some classic books that you want to take pictures of with a cool candle, definitely check those out. And then I'm also helping out Fox and Wit, which is a stationary uh, bookish box shop. Um, and she's got some pretty cool designs right here and it has some uh, a coupon code and some information about it on the back super cool um i am like absolutely in love with katie right here love it so yeah i've got like one two three four five six set of these um <laughs> to pass out so that's gonna be fun super sad that uh she was gonna send me a t-shirt but um because she, she ran out of time and I was leaving. We didn't coordinate well, so. But whatever. I'm still going to buy from her shop because since I found it, I have been eyeballing some products. And, uh, I mean, she has some really nice stuff. <laughs> and then I'm going to pass out some of my business cards. That my, oh, that's the uh, coupon to get more business cards. <laughs> that my sweet husband made me. He made me my own business card. It is so sweet. If you never knew where to find me, uh, there you go. <laughs> and then because I have like 10,000 things to carry to pass out, I've got this cute little clutch. Um, I think my mom gave it to me, but I'm going to put the stuff in here. So you'll see me with like two totes and two purses um, with a ton of crap that I'm carrying around. Don't be alarmed. I am just I am overwhelmed. I'm in a state of overwhelmed all the time. All right, and that's it. Um, I we're like on the 45th floor of this nice hotel, uh, the Millennium Broadway. I would show you the outside, but there's this lady and she has her window open and I can see into her bathroom. And I'm trying to give her all the privacy that she needs. <laughs> Because she obviously don't care that people can see her doing her business, but I don't want to see her doing her business. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow I'll remember to film some more. So see you later. Bye. you describe but con line land <laughs> line land <laughs> That's a free stuff land is your arm getting tired a little bit <laughs> it is it is absolutely crazy here i don't <laughs> know where anything is because we plan so well yes we are the best planners also, they didn't have the maps until like an hour ago, so... Hey guys! I kind of left you hanging the last vlog, um, but that's because BookCon was so crazy and I was running around everywhere trying to get stuff. And, sorry. And they also had like a sign that said like, no photos or anything. And the security was kind of being a little mean that day, so I wasn't going to chance it. Anyways, so I'm going to show you my total haul for BookCon and pack at the same time because if you can't tell, we're moving! 
That's why I lack of videos. Um, so I'm going to get started on some merch that we got. Okay, so I'm going to start with the merch that I got and then work my way to the chapter samplers and then finally to what you come to uh, are the books. Um, so we got a ton of merch. Um, when you go to BookCon, a lot of booths are giving out free stuff. Um, one of the things was the National Geographic booth. Um, you played trivia and you won, if you won, then you got something. So me and Ethan played each other because it was just a two, it's like a person versus person type of thing. So we were going to win something regardless. And Ethan actually won and he got a National Geographic tote. I'm not going to take it out because I think he wants to keep it in there to pack. If you hear like thunk, that's me packing <laughs> as we go. I need to pack. We're closing on like the 8th. Right, today is the fifth, so very, very shortly. <laughs> um, we went over to the Beacon, bo Beacon Book Box uh, booth, which is a cool uh, subscription box. Ethan won a pen from them, and I want these really cool pens. Um, it says YA and Slay, No Read Regrets, and Treat Your Shelf. I love them, and they're matte. I love these. I love these for photos. Oh, and then I got uh, two posters. Well, I got a ton of posters, but two is uh, one that I'm going to give away because I got two of them. It got a little dented in the suitcase. Um, I'm going to try to give out the better one. Um, it is a Renegades poster, and it has um, some of the, uh, I guess the Renegades, yeah, the Renegades. So we have Dana, we have Nova, we have Sentinel. Ah! We have Smokescreen, and we have um, Red Assassin. So cool. I'm so sad that this got a little hurt by TSA. But, you know, what can you do when you live in Georgia and you go to New York to go to a book convention? I mean, really. <laughs> also, not related to BookCon, I got that Fairy Loot tapestry, and I'm so happy so so happy this is gonna look so good in the house i'm gonna have to do a um a house tour with you guys when we get it it is going to be really cool um i think we're going to i think we decided to put my library in the um the living room so then i'll have a lot more space because that's like the biggest room um i got three book con stickers i'm going to keep one for me um give two away Let's see here. I've got two masks for Renegades, which is really cool. You can give one of those away. I got a ta temporary tattoo from Charles Ridge Team uh, for their new book. What's it called? Twice Dead. And it's by Caitlin Seal. And it says Necromancer Song. Definitely keeping that. That's going to be so cool. That's going to be such a good picture when I get the book. Um, Got a couple of bookmarks, but I really like these Alcrate bookmarks. I went to their booth like a ton of times. And then these are the What's Your Renegade Name um, thing. And it has a little promo for it. Arch Enemies, which comes out November. Every time that you went through the Alcrate line, because uh, they had the wheel that you spun, you got these I Survived the Alcrate line uh, pins. Two of them, probably give two of them away. You also got a tote. But I really like totes. I might keep, I might give away one of them. Um, this was over at the Once Upon a Time or Once Upon a Book Box thing. Um, I won a little mug or a little glass. Books wash away the soul. Oh wait, yeah, the soul, the dust of everyday life. Wait, what? That's a little, oh, okay, that was a little darker than what I thought it was. This is my friend, uh, Craig. That's his mystery bag, as he said to get him one. And I got my own mystery bag. These were over at the Enchanted Fandoms um, booth. So I got the Awe Aftershave uh, Little Mouse Bookshop candle. Smells like... It, really, it, it smells like Christmas to me, but I think it's like more of a... Um, more of like... Um, aftershave scent 
a bookmark from Nightmares in Dreamscape. It says, I have a million ideas, but they all point to certain diff, which is from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Um, this, <laughs> um, the fifth element, I think it's a sticker. Star Trek lanyard. This gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Elisa J Designs. Um, little, ah, little jewelry bracelet. And it has a cute little galaxy print on it. I love this. I'm actually going to use this for a photo today. Um, check out Elisa J Designs on Etsy. Seriously. Um, National Lampoon's button. And a, a winter solstice lip balm from Jalen's Books. And this is all from Enchanted Fandoms. They do a subscription box every month where you can get... Um, oh, look, here's a little card. And it's like a little 20% off code. Um, but you, um, you get like a box of geeky stuff. And their tag is No Fandom Left Behind. And from what I've seen, they are truly proving No Fandom Left Behind. Um... We also got, or I got, a cool Ember in the Ashes poster, and it says, You're full of life, Leia, full of life and dark and strength and spirit. You are in our dreams. You will burn, for you are an Ember in the Ashes. And then on the back, it has the three with the new um, book covers. At first, I didn't like the book covers, but I'm coming around to them pretty well. <laughs> I also got this cool Roar poster. Um, and it has like some of the blurbs from people that have read it. And then on the back is this gorgeous map. I feel so bad. I don't know which side to, um, to use for my book, for my library. And then I still have read this book, but I really want to. It is, um, Children of Blood and Bone. And it says, they killed my mother. They took our magic. They tried to burn us. Now we rise. And it's gorgeous so gorgeous and what else do I have in here I have various bookmarks lots of bookmarks were given out uh, at BookCon of course because it's you know books um, they gave out this uh, Wicked King The Wicked King which is the sequel to The Cruel Prince uh, mirror and it says we get power by taking it and I got a mask for for uh, Muse of Nightmares, which is the sequel to Strange the Dreamer, and it says, In dreams, I could bring myself back to life. Um, and then what are these? I think these are, I think these are tattoo packs, yeah. So they are uh, Children of Blood and Bone themed tattoo packs, and it says Maji Clan tattoo pack. I'm going to give one of those away to one lucky person. And then a chapter sampler of uh, Children of Blood and Bone. And give that away as well because I picked up two. And then a mystery pack uh, crown for a uh, three dark crown series. And I don't know which one it is. It's the first time I've opened it. I've dropped the staple. That's never good. <laughs> okay, I don't know which one this is, but that's the one I won. What? like fire maybe that's the poison i don't know i've not read the series um i really want to read the series though <laughs> i have like i have a little tattoo i don't know where that came from um i have the first one and i have the second one the second one is actually a first edition signed some more i survived the owl crate line buttons um but yeah i've never read them yet um this is a Gina Showalter, Oh My Goth uh, pen. Um, I think that's a new book or a recent release that she has uh, come out. Erin Watt, One Small Thing. I think that one has come out. I think I've seen it. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. And The Iron Flyer by Lori, uh, yeah, Lori Forrest, which is a sequel to The Black Witch, I believe. Then my photo with my husband for The uh, Three Dark Crowns. An art print from where is this from? I can't remember. Um, but it was with the Once Upon a Book uh, booth. They were with them. It says, you either belong here wild and untamed yourself or you or you don't. Pretty. You know what? I'm thinking, I'm like, eh, no, I'm going to keep that. 
And then it's a soap from uh, T Soaps and Alcrate. Want it in the Alcrate line. That was one of my better uh, things that I wanted from the Alcrate line. And then a, I want to keep it in the back so I'm not going to take it out, but I also wanted this in the Alcrate line. Well, my husband did. But it is a um, Simon Versus keychain. It says, the way I feel about him is like a heartbeat, soft and persistent, under underlying everything. And I think that's all of the merch. I think that was most of the merch that I got. All right, so now we move on to the chapter samplers and the books. Um, I've got a ton of books. I was way more fortunate than a lot of other people, and I'm not. I'm not taking that for granted. Um, my trip. My oh, my trip. My trip was. Um, or my trick. I don't know. I guess I tried to combine one of those. My trip. <laughs> um, the trick was for me was um, I kept walking around. Um, if I noticed that a line was too long, I wasn't even going to try to chance it. Um, or And I had Ethan with me, so sometimes I would put him in line. Like I put him in the Alcrate line for City of Ghosts and we ended up getting it. While I stood in line for another book. But a lot of times I would just walk around until I noticed that they started breaking up books and then I would start lining up. Um, it seemed to work well for me, um, but I don't know. I think I think a lot of it was just luck. It was just uh, being in the right place at the right time. So it might not work for you. I know a lot of people complained that this was, um, this was a bad book con for ARCs, but um, number one, it's not about the ARCs. It's about going there and um, being a bookish community, getting uh, books, see seeing authors. It's a lot more than ARCs. ARCs are just a very tiny part of it, and they can't make like thousands of copies of them. They're cheap to make. They're for free. They're not getting anything out of them. And probably like out of the out of a hundred ARCs that they make, they might get about ten reviews from them. So it's costing them a lot of money to make them. So I mean. If you really want ARCs, um, but you don't care about the book format, I would suggest NetGalley or Idlewise, but I have had trouble with Idlewise, so I really don't suggest it. Um, but there are all, there, there's always another book convention. Like the next one that I'm kind of looking into is Y'all uh, Fest, which is in South Carolina. Um, it's in the Charleston area. And um, we might have a place to stay for that for free, so it might be easier for us to go to. It would be nice, um, but definitely, it, it's you know, it's nice to get it's nice to get arcs, and it's nice to be part of like the exclusive group that gets them. But it's not it's not everything. Trust me, it's not everything. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I got. I actually ended up with three chapter samplers, but I gave one of the, I gave the third one to a girl that was in line with us for Alcrate because she really wanted it. Um, and then the second one is maybe going to go to a friend. But uh, this is the next book in the series. Uh, this is the second book. The first one was Warcross. This one is Wildcard. It has the first three chapters in it. I'm super stoked to read it. Um, there was a girl passing out little chapter samplers of this book, Bola Base. Um, not really sure. There's like the back of it. Um, not really sure what that's about, but I might end up reading it. I think there's like the first, yeah, the first three. First three chapters of that. And then uh, Charles Bridge Teen, which is a really cool publishing company. Um, I have read uh, Select and I have an arc for Select Few from them. Um, they are coming out with another Y18 book and it's called Twice Dead by Caitlin Seal. It says her death was only the beginning. And this is really cool. She actually signed a personalized it for me. Um, that has a cool map in here. And I think it has like the first chapter. Yeah, it has just the first chapter. But this is a really cool collectible. I'm very fortunate. I went and found her signing them. All right, now on to the books, and I'm going to tell you which ones uh, I ended up buying and which ones I didn't. I don't, like, got for free, whatever. Um, this is Catchy Stars by Kayla Keenan. I bought this one, and she signed and personalized it for me. I've seen it um, all over Alcrate, so I had to have it. I'm also going to get another box. <laughs> Start packing that one. This is turned into, this is turned from a... 
Paige discusses books to Paige packs and discusses book con. <laughs> um, next one I got. This one was for free. It is Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. And she personalized and signed it for me. Uh, super sweet person. And what, what publishing company was that? That was Thomas Nielsen. It's like I know, I know that I know it, but they're not coming to mind. <laughs> um, in over in the Fear Reads line, it, Ethan ended up winning a copy of uh, Check Please, uh, book number one in hockey, and this is a graphic novel. It looks really cool, and it comes out um, September 2018. I think I'm actually going to read that, so I'm going to pack it away. Um, this is a company called, uh, well, a publishing house called Tyndall. Uh, this is their new YA book by Matt McCollottis. I can't pronounce that. It's called The Crescent Stone. Seems really cool. I was drawn in by the cover. Uh, this one was free. And where did it go? Oh, there it is. And he signed and personalized it for me. Um, while I was waiting for him to sign and personalize that copy, I went and bought um, The Choosing by uh, Rachel Decker. It is another YA book. It kind of reminds me of Matched. On Sunday, I was fortunate enough to grab two copies. Well, Ethan grabbed one. Uh, two copies of The Reckless Club, which is on sale um, October 18th. And this was by... Uh, RP Kids? I can't remember. I think it was over in the Hatchet book group. Um, so I am going to give one away and keep one for myself. It kind of sounds like The Breakfast Club. <sighs> the pride and joy of my book con trip. Um, Ethan stood in line for this for an hour and a half and I'm forever thankful for him for doing that for me. Um, but we got two copies of City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I'm going to give one of those away to a lucky person and keep one of them for me to read. Oh, when does it come out? October, oh sorry, August 28th, 2018. The Penguin had something really cool going on. Um, uh, you stood in line and you chose your uh, choose your own like adventure type thing and it showed you what thriller would be like the best fit for you. So when I went through my best uh, fit thriller was Watch Me Disappear by Janelle Brown. Um, if this was a free promotional copy, so really cool. And they also gave me a free copy of uh, Meet Jane Hawk. Oh, wait, no, Silent Corner by Dean Koontz. And this is a uh, promotional one as well. I'm not sure when this one comes out, but I'm pretty sure it's new. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's new. And then when Ethan went through, he got um, The Midnight Line which is a Jack Reacher novel by Lee Child. Maybe? Yeah, by Lee Child. <laughs> and he also got a copy of uh, The Silent Corner by Dean Koontz. So I think I'm going to give away one of those free copies. Another book that I bought while standing in line to get the Crescent Stone was The Delusion by Laura Gall Gallier, um, which is like a YA horror novel. Uh, Ethan actually started reading it, so I'm going to keep this out for him so he can continue reading it because I'm a nice wife. <laughs> no matter what you hear, I'm a nice wife. <laughs> um, on Saturday over at Jimmy Patterson uh, Presents, we got Not So Normal Nor uh, Norbert, Norbert, <laughs> which is by Jan James Patterson and Joey Green, and it comes out July 2nd. Another book, whoop, another book that we won over at the Fierce Reads booth, and this one's already been claimed, sorry guys, but it is Unbroken by, and well, it's edited by Marika Nin Ninja Camp, Ninja Camp, uh, but it's 13 stories starring disabled teens. Um, so some of the authors that they have listed on here are William Alexander, Fox Brinwell, Kia Brown, Danielle Clayton, Corin uh, Duvis, Heidi Heisberg, Cody Keplinger, uh, who has another book that's coming out, uh, Catherine Locke, Karuna Re Regia, I don't know, <laughs> Francisco X. Stork, 
Kayla Whaley and Kristen Willis. I'm just gonna, there we go. It comes out September 2018. Um, seems really, really cool, but I'm not really interested in these types of books. I have a friend though that was like, please, please, please give it to me. So we're actually trading. She's sending me a copy of uh, Hidden Figures and I'm gonna send her this copy. The first day that we were there, oh, wait, you know, okay, the first day that we were there, um, we discovered a, I think they're pretty new, um, publishing house under Hatchet, and it is Orbit Publishing, and they were giving out Arcs of Empire of Sand, which is by Tasha Shuri. It's not available until November 2018, and she looks adorable. <laughs> and Annex by Rich Larson, which goes on sale July 24th. Uh, both of these are like, I think both of them are like sci-fi fantasy books. Um, and I think uh, from what the back sounds like, these sound really, really good. So I would be on the watch for Orbit. Another pride and joy of this weekend was, um, it's actually a funny story. I was walking by the Jimmy Patterson Presents booth. And I was like, I, I thought this book had already come out. So I asked the girl for it and I was going to buy it. And she handed it to me and said, you didn't get it from me. And so I like walked away and then I realized that it didn't come out until October 2018. And it is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Wynn? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Sorry. But oh, I am so stoked to get this. Apparently the line to get it was like, huge like huge and I just got it by walking up that's another thing though um if you're ever at book con or any other book convention ask ask if they have a book ask if uh, they have like any extra copies that they can give you they don't want to pay to send these back trust me they do not they want to give them out uh, so just walk around just ask if you don't see it or if you haven't heard anything ab about it that's how you get books <laughs> Um, and you know, another funny story for this one, I was walking by the owl crate booth again, and I just saw these laying out here and I asked and they let me have them. Two copies of That's Not What Happened by Cody Keplinger, uh, comes out August 28th. I'm going to give one of these away, but seriously, just ask and you get stuff most of the time. It doesn't ha it doesn't work all the time, but most of the time you will. Um, and this this is also another funny story. Um, uh, again, just walking around, saw them grabbing these books out of boxes, and I hopped in line really, really quickly before it got full. And it is, uh, I got two copies of Timeless by R.A. Salvatore. Um, I think it's like a horror. Um, not really sure. I haven't had a lot of time to read it, but, it's, but it was over by Harper, and it comes out September 2018. I'm going to give away one of these copies. And keep one for me. Because, you know, this cover is all super pretty. This is one that I ended up buying, again, while I was lighting a line for the Crescent Stone. It is uh, The Kremlin Conspiracy by uh, Joel Rosenberg. Uh, sounds like, like a, pro a political thriller. I thought Ethan might like it, but I actually might end up reading it. Um, when you go and stand in line for, uh, for Owl Crate, they, uh, they sometimes have books on their wheel. And me and Ethan ended up spinning for books. We ended up getting the same book, which is a book that I already had, unfortunately. So I will be giving away on my Instagram two copies of Roseblood by A.G. Howard. These are phantom retellings. I've heard that they're really good. I've not read my copy yet, but I really don't want three copies of this book. <laughs> Again, another walking around story. I was walking around and I happened to look. I walked and then I thought, huh, I recognize that person. And I walked back. Oh, it's Stephanie Garber. She was just out in the wild just signing copies of Legendary all nonchalantly. So I have a signed copy. I didn't get it personalized because I was too afraid to go up to her. Where is her signature? There it is. Uh, <laughs> so I have a copy, a signed copy of Legendary by Stephanie Garber. Absolutely loved Caribou. Can't wait to get to Legendary. Yet again, walking around and the uh, the people were the people were saying oh we're gonna have a signing for this book and um, the author is gonna be here shortly 
Um, so I ended up buying a copy because I did actually read the E-Arc and I loved it. Um, it was like one of, it's one of the very few five-star reads that I've had this year. And it is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. And yes, guys, she is super nice. Um, super easy to talk to. So, so nice. Um, absolutely love chatting with her. Also read that book because The Hazelwood is actually really good. <laughs> and then while I was over at Fierce Reads, I ended up buying a book that I've been seeing on Instagram. And it is Beautiful Broken Hearts by Cami Garcia. Um... I think this is a contemporary, which is out of my norm, but cover is super pretty. I like purple. I like the pinkish purple, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So, you know, why not? Um, a good thing about BookCon is that, one, they have charging ports, and two, they have places where you can sit because uh, my foot was hurting for the foot that I broke um, or su suspected of breaking a bit ago. Um, so while taking a break, I was handed two copies of <laughs> Chibi, which is a how to draw Chibi art. And <laughs> how adorable. I'm gonna, actually going to give a copy maybe to my cousin. I don't know. I'll see if someone on Instagram wants it. But yeah, super adorable. <laughs> and then we popped in line for this really cool, um, <laughs> this really cool, um, I guess interactive reader uh, books and it is um what is it called it's augmented reality books for uh young readers so you can like hold oh, you can download the app on your phone hold it over and the story comes to life um so i've got little red riding hood and the three little pigs yes these are children's books but uh you know i hope to have a child one day so maybe these will come in handy and they'll be really cool for them to read because like the characters pop out of the story and it has music and you know it's really cool it makes reading fun all right guys and i think that's it for my book con haul um i got a ton of stuff i was very very fortunate to get a lot of stuff this year um i know a lot of people didn't weren't, weren't as fortunate as i was and i'm not taking that for granted um i will say that book con is like it's so different from anything that you have probably ever been to in your life uh, you really can't prepare for it um, just go in and try to do the best you can if you are a planner try to plan but have um, loose uh, plans don't try to like structure the whole thing or else it'll all go to crap um, and if you don't plan like I like I didn't have time to plan at least have some loose form of a plan where you want to be um, and what really helped me was this girl on Twitter. I will link her down below. She's a Chi Chi Mallory, I think her name is. And she had a, an Excel sheet of everything that was going, well, most of everything that was going on. Kept it very well up to date. And I thank her for that because I used that a ton and I tried to spread around the good, the good word about her. Um, she has a link available where you can buy her a coffee. So if you find it helpful, or if you found it helpful during BookCon, please make sure to donate to her. She spent her free time doing that for no gain. And, you know, it's the least that we can do to show our appreciation. So that is my BookCon vlog. Um, hopefully the next vlog will be me moving into the house and showing you the house and the library. So thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye.